Afternoon everybody and welcome to my latest video and today we're not in my front room we're in my workshop look around you and you can see it looks like a workshop so what are we doing today well we have two items to test one of them is the tire key this is the tire key and the other one is a very similar uh, tool and this is by X tools and both of these tools are designed to assist you to fit a tire to a wheel so uh, let's get started first thing to do is let's find a wheel a wheel see this and I have reduced I have uh, released the air from the wheel so uh, we'll pretend we've got a puncture so I'm gonna get a couple of tire levers Here's a tire lever. This is by, oh, this is a Pedro's tire lever. No, nothing, uh, no, don't read anything into it being a Pedro's tire lever. It just happens to be a Pedro's tire lever. Now I've, I've hooked that under the tire like that. And then I'm going to, what am I going to do? I'm going to use another tire lever and I'm going to hook that under the tire bead like that. Now I'm going to um, get rid of these, now I'm going to get rid of the second one and I'm going to take my tyre key, can you see that? I'll just move them around there and what I'm supposed to do with the tyre key is put it under there like that and then run it round, let's see if that, sorry about this, uh, run it round no, no, I'm going to hook it, hook it under there, and I'm going to run it. Blimey. I'm going to run it. <laughs> Says he, running it round. He's going to run it round the tire uh, like that, and that is oh god, going to release the bead from the tire, hopefully without ripping the tube inside there you are i've done that just pick up that tire lever now you could say well why can't you just do that with a tire lever and uh, uh you could yes you could just do that with a tire lever you can see there there's kind of v-shaped groove can you see that and that's what hooks under the tire to release it from the bead Right, so we've done that. So that bit uh, works, although you could say a uh, solution to a problem doesn't really exist because you can use the tyre levers. All right, now let's assume that I have changed the tube or I, I have fixed the inner tube and then I'm going to put the the tyre back on. I'm putting the tyre back on. I'm doing this very well here. Putting the tire back on. There we are. You see that? I'm putting the tire back on. And as many of you will know, quite often you get to the end, this last bit. See, we've got about a foot there, and that bit is very difficult. And if you're like me, uh, getting on in years, uh, not very strong, you can trouble. Uh, you can struggle to get that um, final bit of the tire on. Now, my mate Simon says you should use talcum powder. Um, where do you use the talcum powder? I think you put the talcum powder um, on the on the tube and that makes it easy to put the tire on. But I, although I did buy some talcum powder, I actually bought some uh, Johnson's baby powder, uh, which which was uh, fairly good value, Sainsbury's, can't remember how much. Um, so I did, I have used Johnson's uh, baby powder, um, although you're not, really likely to carry a tub of talcum powder when you're out on the road. I suppose some people might do. Some people have those big Caradice uh, saddle bags which maybe has uh, uh, talcum powder in it. Anyway, uh, you're not going to carry that. So you might have it in your workshop, as you can see, look around, look in the workshop. Um, you might have some Johnson's baby powder. But anyway, uh, what we're going to do now is use the tyre key, this is the tyre key, to get that last bit of the tire onto the rim now what is supposed to happen is that you 
Now, this is this is not new, by the way. I've had this for I've had this for uh, probably about two months now, um, and the fact is, I'm I'm not used it, and the reason I can't use it is I can't get the bloody thing to work. So I thought now would be a good opportunity to make a video and then see if I could make it work. Now, you see, what's supposed to happen is that this this hook bit? Can you see this hook bit there? This hook bit hooks under your tire here and then gets the gets the tire back onto the rim but i can't i can't it doesn't go like that does it no it doesn't go no no it doesn't you see it i'm not much of a mechanic if i'm honest and i can't fucking do this so this is what's supposed to happen can you see that what's supposed to happen is oh yeah i've done it oh, 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 oh look at that oh, oh, oh are we onto something here then that bit you see no no you see then you kind of oh no, look look you see it's kind of working it's well it's kind of working but it it kind of isn't. Um, I can see how it's supposed to work, and that may even suggest that, that it does work. But this tool, and this is the X tool, which is a similar kind of principle, but this has got a kind of scissor type movement. And what you do with this is you put this bit on the reverse side of the tire and you slip it. Uh, onto the rim and that allows you then to squeeze the handles and you can just lever that over like that and I find um, viewers that uh, this works uh, and it works quite well the only trouble is uh, it's it's plastic it's held together by this uh, screw in the middle and it does kind of move slightly can you see that can you see that move slightly and if you've got a uh, difficult tyre, and quite, quite often I find continental tyres are very difficult, um, you put a lot of force in and then this, you see that, that's, that's gone a bit skew whiff, as they say, it's gone a bit skew whiff. Uh, you can probably maybe bend it back again. So anyway, so this, this tool does work, does what it's supposed to do. I mean, you're not gonna, you're not gonna carry this bloody thing out in the mode, are you? You're not going to. This thing, maybe works it's one of those tools where you try it for a few times and it doesn't work and you think well what's the fucking point why, why do i keep on you know beating my head against this so maybe it works maybe i need to try it a bit longer but uh, uh guys if you're uh, a little bit careful and you're as useless a mechanic as i am uh you're going to struggle it's not very much it's about 9.99 something like that and it would fit it in foot in your back pocket so if you're out on the road, it would be very useful to carry with you. Um, whereas this one, of course, you're not going to. So uh, there we are. I've put the tire back on the wheel and there we are, it's sorted. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you learned something. Um, not sure if I did, but uh, see you next time. Thank you.